Good afternoon, everybody. I am Dr. Darshan from Department of Community Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, University of Pune. This is a part of my postgraduate degree. Today, my presentation is relapse-free following institutionalized rehabilitation of drug addicts based on Sri Lankan experience. Relapses following rehabilitation is identified as a major drawback in rehabilitation process of drug addicts in many countries, including Sri Lanka. According to literature, although most of drug addicts underwent rehabilitation process, majority of them end up with relapses. This study was conducted to assess the relapse rate following institutionalized rehabilitation program among drug addicts in selected rehabilitation institution in Sri Lanka. According to the available national data, it was difficult to find out relapse rate related to rehabilitation among drug addicts in Sri Lanka. Therefore, we thought the results of this study will be beneficial for policymakers in the field of prevention of drug addicts in the country. We conducted a longitudinal follow-up study as a part of large descriptive cross-sectional study. We selected 431 drug addicts among five selected rehabilitation centers in Sri Lanka, representing four districts in the country. Among them, we randomly selected sample of 189 drug addicts in five selected rehabilitation centers. Those drug addicts were followed up for six months with two follow-up intervals at three months and six months after discharge from the rehabilitation center. Each of these drug addicts underwent three-month rehabilitation program in these five selected rehabilitation centers a relapse was defined as a return to drug use after a period of abstinence, often accompanied by reinstatement of defendant symptoms. We use SPSS software to analyze data and ethical approval for the study was obtained from Ethical Review Committee, Faculty of Medicine, University of Pruhuna. Now we will move on to the results. Among the sample, majority of drug addicts were about 25 years of age and resident from Western province. The mean age of the sample was 29.7 years with 7.8 standard deviation. We calculate the relapse rate, and among them, majority were relapsed within first six weeks after discharge from the rehabilitation center. Nearly 66% were relapsed within first six weeks, and mean duration of the relapse was 5.7 weeks with 5.3 standard deviation. We calculated relapse rate at the end of three months and at the end of six months separately. At the end of the three months, no one lost to follow up. So at the end of the three months, 48.7% were relapsed while 51.3% were not relapsed. However, at the end of six months, we identified six drug addicts with loss to follow up. We calculated relapse rate excluding them, and we got 59.6% of drug addicts relapse at six months after discharge from the rehabilitation center. At the end of six months, only 40.4% were remain not relapse. So according to our study, we identify that majority of drug addicts relapse after rehabilitation process. 
so relapse was identified as a common problem in drug rehabilitation process in Sri Lanka. Therefore, we identify this as a major issue and this needs attention of policy makers for planning and implementing of follow-up follow -up programs for drug addicts to prevent relapses. Thank you.